On December 6th, 2024 alone, a seismic swarm lasting 11 hours shook Campi Flegre, beginning at 4.33 in the morning, totaling 26 earthquakes with the strongest reaching magnitude, 3.4. This event represents only the tip of the iceberg of a much deeper seismic crisis than scientists imagined. A revolutionary analysis using artificial intelligence revealed that between 2022 and mid-2025, more than 54,000 earthquakes shook this Italian volcanic caldera, four times more than the 12,000 events previously detected by traditional monitoring methods. The discovery published in Science Journal demonstrates that three quarters of all earthquakes in Campi Flegre passed completely unnoticed by conventional systems, drastically altering our understanding of the real intensity of the crisis, developing beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions. Even more alarming, a scientific study published on December 2nd, 2024 in Communications, Earth, and Environment Journal brought disturbing revelations about the potential for crustal rupture in Campi Flegre. Researchers confirmed that a prediction made in 2016 came true. A crustal rupture sequence has been developing through four episodes of ground uplift since 1950. The study predicted in 2016 that the approach to rupture would continue after an additional 12 to 16 inches, 30 to 40 centimeters, of uplift at the location of greatest movement. And subsequent events confirmed this disturbing prediction demonstrating that volcanic unrest is permanently modifying the crustal structure beneath the region. The analysis reveals that repeatable variations in seismicity rate accompany ground movement, tracking the amount of applied stress that is released by local earthquakes, and provides new constraints to assess the caldera's potential to enter eruption or subside without eruption. The Italian volcanic caldera recorded more than 3,000 seismic events in the year 2024 alone, representing a 600% increase compared to levels considered normal for the region. The last seven days recorded 80 seismic events, with magnitudes reaching up to 2.3, demonstrating that activity continues intense and relentless. This sequence of events placed the international scientific community on maximum alert, especially because the observed patterns are surprisingly similar to those that preceded the last major eruption in 1538. During March of this year, scientists detected an extraordinary peak of bradyseismic activity, with the ground in the central region rising approximately 3.1 inches eight centimeters, in just six weeks, a rate that later stabilized between 0.39 and 0.59 inches 10 and 15 millimeters, monthly. The discovery of 54,000 earthquakes through artificial intelligence revealed hidden geological structures that now deeply concern experts. Professor William Ellsworth, co-director of the Stanford Center for Induced and Triggered Seismicity, declared that we have known this place as a risk zone for a long time, since the 80s when part of the city was evacuated, but now we are seeing for the first time the geological structures responsible for this danger. The detailed mapping of these thousands of seismic events revealed two long faults converging beneath the city of Pozzuoli located west of Naples, where more than 40,000 residents were evacuated during the crisis of 1982 to 1984. The geometry of these faults suggests something truly worrying. Earthquakes in the magnitude 5 range are not out of the question, according to Ellsworth's statement. The possibility of magnitude 5 earthquakes represents a significant threat considering that more than 500,000 people live directly over this active caldera. Unlike the small tremors that the region experiences daily, a magnitude 5 earthquake has enough energy to cause substantial structural damage to inadequately prepared buildings, especially because most constructions in the area were designed with obsolete seismic codes or without any anti-seismic revisions. Professor Greg Barroza, co-author of the study published in Science, emphasized that one of the major short-term concerns in Campi Flegre is not an eruption, but rather a moderate shallow depth earthquake, which could endanger people and damage buildings and infrastructure in the densely populated region. From January 2024 to the present moment, the accumulated ground uplift already totals 6.89 inches, 17.5 centimeters, with the current rate stabilized between 0.39 and 0.59 inches, 10 and 15 millimeters, monthly at the right monitoring station in Rioni Terra. Simultaneously, carbon dioxide and sulfur emissions reach levels that have not been recorded since the end of the 80s with Solfaterra fumarole temperatures reaching impressive numbers of over 356 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius daily, 
indicating a dramatic increase in heat flow from the depths of the magmatic system. The temperature sensor installed near the Pisciarelli fumarole shows an average value of approximately 206.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 97 degrees Celsius, demonstrating the intense hydrothermal activity that characterizes this phase of volcanic unrest. To understand the dimension of this activity revealed by artificial intelligence, it is essential to compare it with previous events, especially the volcanic crisis between 1982 and 1984, when more than 16,000 seismic events were recorded in just two years. At that time, traditional methods managed to detect all these events because they were sufficiently strong. However, the current analysis demonstrates that the real seismic activity in Campi Flegre is much more intense than any traditional monitoring system can capture, with thousands of small tremors going unnoticed daily. This discovery fundamentally changes our understanding of the state of accumulated stress in the Earth's crust beneath the caldera and the potential for larger seismic events. The December 2nd study on crustal rupture provides additional worrying context. Analyzing data on changes in the number of local earthquakes in relation to amounts of ground movement, researchers demonstrated that subsequent events confirmed predictions made in 2016 and that the unrest has been modifying Campi Flegre's crustal structure in ways that can facilitate both future eruption and destructive seismic activity. The analysis reveals repeatable patterns that precede ruptures, tracking the amount of applied stress that is released through local earthquakes providing new constraints to assess the caldera's potential to enter eruption or to continue only with intense seismic activity without volcanic eruption. Currently, a sophisticated network of monitoring equipment operates uninterruptedly on site, including more than 50 state-of-the-art seismographic stations, dozens of ground deformation sensors based on millimeter precision GPS technology, and spectroscopic analysis systems that allow real-time observation of chemical changes in gases emitted by the region's fumaroles. This technological infrastructure represents an investment of more than 15 million euros by the Italian government and the European Union, demonstrating international recognition of the critical importance of constantly monitoring this potentially devastating volcanic formation. Now, with the addition of artificial intelligence tools capable of detecting four times more seismic events, Scientists possess an unprecedented view of what is really happening in the depths of this restless caldera. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and want to continue learning about volcanology and extraordinary geological phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss the next content about the most impressive phenomena that shape our planet. Leave your comment about what you think of these recent discoveries made by artificial intelligence and Campi Flegre, and share this video with other people interested in science and geology.